welcome back to Medinet. In this video, let's discuss about glycogenolysis. In the previous video, we learnt about the process of glycogen formation. We know excess of blood glucose gets converted to glycogen and gets stored in liver and muscle. But when we starve, the blood glucose level reduces and thereby making those stored glycogen to get back to the required form which is glucose. Let's see how that happens. The first step is phosphorolysis. Glycogen in presence of glycogen phosphorylase enzyme gets converted to glucose 1-phosphate. This enzyme glycogen phosphorylase contains pyridoxyl phosphate as a prosthetic group. It works by hydrolyzing alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkages in the glycogen molecule. This happens till it reaches a glucose residue of 3 to 4 glucose units away from the branching point. If glycogen phosphorylase alone acts on the glycogen molecule, the final product is a highly branched molecule called limit dextrin. In this picture of glycogen, we could see each glucose molecules are linked together by alpha 1,4 linkages and each one of them is branching by alpha 1,6 linkages. The enzyme glycogen phosphorylase acts only on alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkages. Now, a block of 3 glucose residue which are highlighted in pink in the diagram are transferred from branching point to another branch and this is done by alpha 1,4 to alpha 1,4 glucan transferase enzyme. The branch point is 3 at this point. Alpha 1,6 glucosidase enzyme, also known as the debranching enzyme, can hydrolyze the remaining glucose unit held in alpha 1,6 linkage at the branch point. This glucose residue is released as free glucose. At this stage, the ratio of glucose 1-phosphate to free glucose is about 8 is to 1. How? The debranching enzyme releases glucose whereas the glycogen phosphorylase produces glucose 1-phosphate and hence this ratio. In the next step, the glucose 1-phosphate is converted to glucose 6-phosphate by an enzyme called phosphoglucomutase. And this glucose 6-phosphate is hydrolyzed to glucose by an enzyme called hepatic glucose 6-phosphatase. This free glucose gets released into the bloodstream. This is the case that happens in the liver. Now, what happens to those in the muscle? The glucose will not be released into the bloodstream by the muscle because muscle doesn't have glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme. So, in muscle, Glucose 6-phosphate undergoes glycolysis to produce ATP for muscle contraction. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do like this video and subscribe to Medinair for more. Thanks for watching.